Hey everyone, Clavin here again from the Pokey Beaver. We're coming out with another video today to showcase that collection journey. We want to bring everyone along with us. In our last video, in our last couple of videos, we've been setting goals. Now it's time to, again, showcase those goals. And for that today, what we're doing is we're kind of showing you guys, again, another little error that people can make in their collecting. Now I've made that error and I'm learning from it. And I wanna share that with everybody here. Just to give a little background, if you're new to the Pokey Beaver, my name's Gladman, I'm a new collector. I've come in, I used to love Pokemon cards when I was a kid, I ended up finding my old collection, I'm now getting back into collecting very much so. So, the mistake that we've made is that FOMO, that fear of missing out, oh my god, I need to get every sealed product because it's all gonna be worth money and it's all gonna do this and that. And unfortunately, I made that mistake. So I didn't kill myself with it, but I did put myself in a situation where I'm at right now. Well, unfortunately, I've got to take a little bit of a break on acquiring new things on my collection. And instead of just a break, like, you know, I might get one thing here or there. Unfortunately, it's a hard stop for a little bit. We've got to reacquire funds. We've got to get rid of some of the things that we bought. We've got to rebuild our capital to be able to get more into the direction that we're looking to go with our collection. Now, let's talk about that. What did I do? So. With some of this fear of missing out, there's so many different ways that you can collect. Sealed products, individual cards, grading cards, um, trying to maybe do a YouTube channel and have a supplementary income that way. There's many different ways that you can collect. I unfortunately could not give myself one specific way to collect and I kind of jumped in getting in so much information trying to learn so quickly and when you try to do too much at once you will make a mistake. So what I ended up doing is I ended up buying a bunch of sealed product. I ended up buying a bunch of raw cards and unfortunately not just like you know ten twenty dollar cards an array of values of cards and with that I've caught myself in this bubble of now I have a bunch of this stuff and I can't fulfill the last part of my goal, which was to grade some cards. There's unfortunately a cost in grading cards. I'm sure if anybody is watching this channel and has either tried to, looked into it, done it already, they've seen that that cost is quite high, um, especially with the two majors, you know, BGS and uh, PSA. Or, uh, but I've also been looking at CGC, which again is maybe the more affordable option, but just not quite as popular or quite as lucrative in your potential resales. So I have missed that goal. Now, I'm not trying to dip into all my personal savings to go grade cards and finish the school. I wanna now take this knowledge of this mistake that I've made, learn from it, and try to get to where I want to go without having to take further steps and retract where all my original goals were, which was to have a self-sustaining kind of collection. As I've mentioned in previous videos, that's a big goal of mine um, and what I see a lot of the successful collectors out there doing. So in this quest, for figuring this out i've now learned that all these things that i've got i'm gonna go through them i'm gonna see you know what is really valuable to me what is really what i want to keep and then offload the things to hopefully recoup some of the, the funds that i've spent um to get back on track so that i can do the things that i want to do um but right now today we're going to be looking at some of these raw cards that i've been picking up now in a couple of previous videos i showed you guys a couple mail days you know we call them um where i've had some cards come in and i've shown you guys like what i thought were pretty cool cards but today i kind of stockpiled so today's kind of fun it's like a little mystery pack because i don't know what each of these envelopes contains and again it's kind of like a mystery setting i've got i think maybe one or two sealed things that i bought just because i was like i want to have it <laughs> and then i bought um a bunch of cards that we're going to go through today so without further ado let's get at it if you guys like this type of content if you want to be um you know maybe learning seeing if these are the directions you want to go if you were exploring green again i kind of went all out with every direction that i could think of in regards to building a collection so let's learn to Together. If you guys like this, don't be shy. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. We got a bunch of stuff going on here. So let's just make a nice pile. We just got stuff on stuff on stuff on stuff on stuff. So let's get right into the first one. Again, I have no idea what are in these individual packs, but there will be lots of cards. So let's take a quick look here. So, sorry, I just had to repack them. So unfortunately, some of these cards were not in the right place, but we got some amazing cards. So again, EX Delta Species. We got the Vaporeon, the Umbreon, the Flareon, 
the S beyond. You can just see, like, here, I'll just show you this one. Look at these cards. Sorry, that's just a little fluff on my thing here. Of course, there's a little smudge right there to make it look like there's a whitening, but there's, like, literally a tiny speck on the corner up there. Nothing. Nothing. Maybe a tiny speck there. Like, centering on this card is a little bit off on the back, but on the front, it's, like, pristine. Pristine. It's just unreal. We got the Needle Queen stamped. Dragon Frontiers. Needle King stamped. Dragon Frontiers. Gyarados stamped. Deoxys. Look at that insane Deoxys reverse holo. Oh man, I just love these series. So as you can see, all of these are from these EX series. That's my series, man. Those are the ones I remember. 2003, 2004, 2005. 2006, basically when I was 15, that's when things started getting a little less collective. But look at that Rayquaza EX, nothing. Like just great condition on these cards. Let's, see, let's get to the next. Let's get to the next bag here. Why it's tape with Scotch tape? I don't know. That's the one thing buying online. You never know. Someone's sending you stuff. Someone's doing some wonky conky wonkies oh what do we got black and white base set pack just one single one but again bought from a nice seller on ebay from here in canada so it wasn't crazy to get shipped look at that base set we're gonna get that we're gonna get that zekrom that Russia ram we're gonna get those in that pack, I can feel. We're not opening those today. Sorry if anybody just got a little bit too excited. But basically what we're looking to do today is again, just showcase the collection. I am stockpiling. I think you guys saw my last video. I got a heart gold soul silver one. I think it's triumphant or undaunted. Um, so I am trying to get some single packs. Um, they're a bit expensive. So obviously I'm trying to get them at like a good price. I try to loop them together with maybe a trade or maybe a, um, kind of a bulk buy in that sense but yeah there we go so we got a black and white base set booster pack what do we got here more cards oh yeah some more fun ones here guys all right guys sorry again <laughs> it just had to read back the cards every time but here we go look at this we got blastoise crystal guardians Stamped. I'm all about these stamped cards right now. I just love them. I think they're gonna be so I think they're just so cool Like no other series does these stamps only the promos get the stamp looks so we got the Blastoise We got the War Turtle. I got a pop series for I'm not really collecting pop series Like it's not like a series I'm going after but I just love Mew And I was like this is such a cool card and again like it's just the condition on these cards A little spec there Really, you can see like maybe one little speck up there, nothing more. And these hollows are like clean as can be. Like that swirl, got a swirl on that one, right? And then we got those same Delta Species Evolutions. I think I got only these two in the stamp. I got the stamp and the non stamped. Got a Rayquaza Hall and Phantom stamped. Typhlosion Unseen Forces stamped. And again, the Gyarados Team Rocket returns. Just love Gyarados. And this is such a, such a cool version of it. Like the artworks, that's, that's probably one of my favorite things about these EX series, is that the artworks in these sets are just like unreal. We have a few packs to get through here. I don't even think we're gonna open the other packs just because it's, why? This is like a mystery in and of itself. Alright guys, same thing, unfortunately we have to organize the cards, but look what we got here. Look what we got here. We got the Gyarados from Holland Phantoms. Again, these EX series, reverse hollows with the gold borders. Oh, guys, I can't get enough of these cards. This artwork alone, I, I, like when I was buying this card, I was like, Dude, this artwork is insane. It's, it, it, it is insane. What else we got? Oh, Raichu from Holland Phantoms. No stamp on this one either. 
but just so cool. Of course, I got a hair right in the middle there. And again, just like quality of these cards. Again, tiny little speck up there. Nothing. Nothing. Like these cards are clean, man. Clean, clean cards. Oh, another stamped Typhlosion. Typhlosion. Dragon Frontiers. Love it. Oh, for Alligator Dragon. Look at this artwork, man. Like these artworks are just insane for these cards. For Alligator. Gardevoir. Delta X species. That reverse holo, like it takes up the whole card. Like it's like better than the hollows. That's what I'm all about to stay. Oh, who did we get? We got our man Snorlax. Dragon Frontiers. Oh. Can't get enough of that Snorlax. Look at that. Again, just on, oh, and then the Crystal Guardians, but the other version of Blastoise. Because we had the first one, but now we got the other version. So look at that, just an unreal card. Stamped with that Crystal Guardian stamp. It's just so cool, so cool. Let's get to the next one, see what else we got here. Oh my God. People put like this epic wrapping on what we buy, but that's okay. I appreciate it. I can't say that I appreciate it enough. Oh yeah. We got the needle queen. We got the stamp. Now we got the unstamped. Oh, another crystal guardian stamped. Oh guys, we want to see, is this one going to be the 10? Is this one going to be the 10? Oh, see this one's got a little, this is probably going to be the nine. And then what we got here, a Genesect. EX from Black and White series. So we got our last one here, and then we got one special surprise after this that I think is cool. Oh, we got another. Oh, Black and White Emerging Powers. And still, two Black and White series, right? I mean, these, these, these packs are almost 10 years old. So it's just crazy. It's just crazy. So the last thing I wanted to show you guys here, and while I'm just on packing the tape that everyone seems to be so good at putting on these were my babies these were my big purchase so the first one we're gonna do here one of my favorite pokemon of all time alakazam gold star little half swirl over there but this one is just like there's not a dent there's not a scratch look at that the centering is just Perfect on that card. You can check the back. No whitening. No whitening. No whitening. That's that's dust. Nothing. Like this is an extremely clean card. This this could be my 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 ten. This could this could be my ten. And that's what I'm gonna be putting these through for, right? Like this one, I might even go like you know I might want to hit that BGS. I'm gonna wanna shoot for the stars and see if I can get that black label. Get the tens across the board. I don't know, beautiful. And then our last card here, guys. The last one. Gold star. I friggin' love this card. This one, when I bought it, the one thing is the centering is a little bit off. So you can see just a little bit off. So I do got one print there. That's okay. I think I did know that when I bought this one. But still, because the price was right. And look at this, nothing, nothing, nothing. One tiny speck there. Like again, these, this, this card in a PSA 9, guys, is like $1,400. And the last sale of this card in a 9 <laughs> was like over a year ago. So, I mean, the price might be down today. Who knows? We're not going to open any packs today. Just straight collection showing. But I hope you guys appreciate this. Again, if you do like seeing this content, if you like seeing the collection, you know, what I'm trying to buy. Again, I'm no expert. I'm not trying to give advice on Pokemon or anything like that. I'm just trying to say these are my opinions on what I think about Pokemon, what I think is looking good, what I look at when I'm searching for new cards, searching for sealed product, all this stuff. And again, if you guys like it, you want to see more of it, please hit the like, please hit the subscribe. Because the collection's only going to get bigger. 
Again, this is Gladman. This is the Pokey Beaver. I appreciate anybody who's watching it, and I can't wait for the next one.